Hey guys welcome to Daily Movie Recaps. I'm Rocky. And today we're watching the 2004 comedy Eurotrip. Please hit the like button, comment and subscribe to the channel. Alright then. We are at a high school graduation of the Hudson High class of 2004. The students and parents have gathered around to celebrate the graduation. Scott's family is filming as his high school sweetheart Fiona is breaking up with him. Later at Scott's house his friend Cooper jokes at Scott's pen pal from Germany is a guy. And convinces Scott to attend a party. At the party, we see the twins Jamie and Jenny. The twins are planning a trip to Paris. And are trying to convince Scott to go with them. But then Scotty sees his ex, Fiona at the party too and she joins the singer of the band on stage. And we find out the singer is her new boyfriend. And the guy she was cheating on Scotty with. The two then starts singing a song Scotty doesn't know. Scott just there lifeless watching them. Scott is a champion for not breaking there. In his room Scott is all drunk. And he then sits at the computer. And sends an angry email to his German pen pal. When he wakes up a drooling mess. His brother informs him that he didn't translate the pen pal's message properly. And he realizes that his pen pal is actually a girl and not a guy. But it's too late for Scotty to set it straight because the German pen pal blocks Scotty. So he and Cooper decide to go to Germany to find her. But once they get to the airport. They find that London is the first cheap flight available. So that's where they go. Boys will be boys. Bees for pussy. After landing in London. They end up in a members only club for men. Diehard fans, Manchester United. Scotty and Cooper are very unwelcome there. But Scotty saves their lives by singing Sheena Easton's 9 to 5 song. And just adding something at the end about Manchester United. Next we see them waking up on a double decker bus full of British men. The bus is headed to Paris, where they meet up with the twins, and proceed to check out the usual tourist sites, while waiting to get into the Louvre. Scotty manages to get in a fight with a busker dressed as a robot. Then over dinner the four decide to travel around Europe, and go to Berlin together, with the final goal of helping Scotty meet his German hottie. But while on a train an overly friendly man joins them in their car. And he can't keep his hands off Jamie. They kick him out of their train car. When they discover him without his pants. They visit a beach along the English Channel. Only to find out that it's a gay beach. And all the ladies are on a different beach. When Jenny walks up to the beach. And takes her top off. The men chase them all off the beach. Next they arrive in Amsterdam. And Cooper has finally found the place of his dreams. A place where he's surrounded by super sexy European women. That all seem to want him. And Jenny and Scotty find a coffee shop. That sells drugged coffee. Next Jamie is with some random girl. He just met in a camera store. Jamie is getting robbed while he's getting blow job from the camera girl. Next morning, they all meet up and when Jamie arrived happy as the sun. He had lost all their passports, money and phones in the robbery. Trying to get ride Scotty's bad German is misunderstood by a very drunk truck driver. Who drives them to Slovakia. They put together all the money that they have. Which is only about a dollar and eighty cents American dollars. But they realize they can have a lot fun because of exchange rate. They decide to go out at the dope club and party. They drink like idiots and dance like fools. But Jamie and Jenny were too drunk. And they end up kissing each other. The next morning they manage to get a ride to Berlin. And Scotty is excited to finally meet his German babe. Who turns out not to be home but she has left for Rome. So Jamie sells his beloved camera in order to buy flights for all four of them to meet her at the Vatican. But in order to get into the Vatican, they have to lie about being part of a tour group. Cooper accidentally rings the bell that notifies the Pope's death. 
The pair then find themselves in the Pope's private chambers, where the Pope's head garb to catch fire. They throw the hat into the fireplace, and it sends out the white smoke. That signifies a new Pope has been chosen. Everyone in the square is freaking out. And to add to the chaos Scotty gets tangled in a curtain. And he walks out on the Pope's balcony, wearing a different pop hat, with the actual Pope watching the whole thing on television. The onlookers think that Scotty is the new Pope. Scotty spots his German hottie in the crowd, and he is caught by the guards. Thankfully, the British blokes from the club were there to help him get away from security so he can see his girl, who is obviously happy to see him. And eventually the two proceed to hump on in a confession booth. As it so happens everyone eventually gets their own happy ending in the movie. It turns out Jamie had unknowingly given the author of his travel guide book a tour in the Vatican. And the author in return offers Jamie paid visit to all the museums in Europe. And after all his effort through the entire film Jenny and Cooper finally connect. In the washroom. Three months later Scotty is still talking to his German hottie. But she ends up surprising him by showing up at his college. And announces she's going to the same school as him. And even staying in the same dorm. Because the school thought from her name that she was a guy. The end. Please like share and subscribe to Daily Movie Recaps.